My name is Dean Felscher. I'm a professor at Stanford University, and I'm glad to talk to you briefly about a paper I wrote for Oncotarget called BIM Mediates Oncogene Inactivation Induced Apoptosis in Multiple Transgenic Mouse Models of Acute Lymphoblastic Leukemia. My laboratory has spent the last 16 years studying mechanisms of oncogene addiction. Oncogene addiction is a phenomena whereby cancers can exhibit almost a miraculous regression upon the inactivation of a single driver oncogene. In particular, we've studied how cancers can be addicted to the MYC oncogene. MYC is one of the most commonly activated oncogenes in human cancer. Previously, we've shown that when you engineer cancers that are driven by the MYC oncogene, that turning off the MYC oncogene can lead to a remarkable regression of these tumors associated with a dramatic induction of apoptosis. But until very recently, and until this specific publication published in Oncotarget, we had not described the exact mechanism. The work I'm going to outline for you was performed under the leadership of a senior postdoctoral fellow in my lab, Yulin Lee, with the help of another fellow, Anya Deutschmann. He also had help from a former graduate student, Peter Choi, and a former fellow in my lab, Alice Sven. In this work, we found that in a variety of oncogene-driven models of acute lymphoblastic leukemia, that shutting down the oncogene that drove these cancers led to apoptosis caused by a specific apoptotic regulatory protein, BIM. Now, BIM has been well known and characterized to be a major regulation of apoptosis, but only um, until very recently has it been suggested to play a role in therapeutic apoptosis. Previous reports had suggested that some uh, targeted therapies may work through the BIM oncogene. And this suggested to us the possibility that this may be a more central regulator of how oncogenes maintain survival and regulate the absence of apoptotic programs. What we found is in a variety of different models, when you turn off MYC or ABLE or the RAS oncogenes and tumors undergo apoptosis, this is causally dependent on the BIM apoptotic regulator. Now, what's important about these results are several things. First of all, they suggest that there may be a common mechanism of oncogene addiction-associated apoptosis, and that BIM is one of the central regulators of this process. So this provides a novel mechanistic insight. But second of all, and perhaps more importantly, they suggest that therapies that target oncogenes in particular for the treatment of leukemia and lymphoma, that their efficacy will depend on the ability to induce this apoptotic program. And thus, we've identified a biological marker of successful therapeutic action. But finally, they may suggest new ways of thinking about therapeutic development. So targeting this program and being able to restore this apoptotic program may be a very effective treatment for particular types of cancer. Now, this work focused on the study of models of leukemia and lymphoma. But we think these results are likely to extend to other types of cancer as well. Thus, we found in my laboratory evidence that solid tumors caused by driver oncogenes such as MYC also will undergo apoptosis when you turn off the MYC oncogene. We recognize, however, that the mechanisms could be more nuanced, that BIM may not be the only key apoptotic regulator, that different kinds of tumors may utilize different apoptotic programs, and that the uh, magnitude of the activity may depend very much on the specific type of tumor. Current efforts in the laboratory are to, to attempt to identify the precise mechanisms by which these apoptotic mechanisms are regulated, and we're conducting screens for therapeutics that may be able to mimic the effects of turning off these oncogenes and restore these apoptotic programs. I'm excited to continue this work that has led to uh, a very productive and exciting insight into the biology and pathogenesis of these cancers.